Ugridge has survived. He survived criticizing Stalin during the 40s, the Queen during the 50s, and President Kennedy during the 60s. He is clearly imperishable. <laughs> he calls himself a journalist, and here in England, that is a designation that one associates with Addison and Steele, with Walter Badgett. It is what Chesterton insisted on calling himself. He worked first for the Manchester Guardian, which sent him to Moscow. That proved the worst trial the communists had since the mobilization of the White Army. <laughs> then he went to Calcutta for the New Statesman, then Washington for the Telegraph. Then he was editor of Punch, and in the past dozen years, he has freelanced writing the book reviews for Esquire, doing television and radio, lecturing, writing books, and accepting briefly the rectorship of Edinburgh University. <laughs> he calls himself a man of the left for reasons we shall explore in a discussion of the culture of the left. His apostasies from the left are however so numerous as to leave him a member of the left in the same sense that, say, Bishop Pike is a member of the Christian church. I should like to begin by asking Mr. Muggeridge, uh, how did he hope to retain his credentials as a liberal after writing a year or so ago that history would prove that Mrs. Roosevelt did more damage than Benito Mussolini, Mr. Muggeridge? Well, Bill, I think you must distinguish between being a member of the left and being a liberal. I regard liberalism as the great disease of our society. Mm -hmm. And when I said that, uh, that people like Mrs. Roosevelt, admirable though they were in intention, would be seen to have done more damage than people like Hitler and Stalin, I meant precisely that. Because Hitler and Stalin got a lot of people killed and precipitated a great war, but they are now discredited. But liberalism, which has been the dominant philosophy in the most influential and even powerful mm. nations of the West continues to thrive despite the fact that every time it's been applied, it's, the consequences have been disastrous. You therefore <coughs> are dist you distinguish between liberalism and uh, leftism. Left. Yes, indeed. And uh, what, for instance, would be some of the critical distinctions between those two? Well, doctrines? I think when I say that I am a man of the left, I mean by that that I am instinctively uh, against authority <coughs> and on the side, or hope that I would always wish to be on the side, on the weaker side. Well, wh why would that make you distinctively a leftist? Well, because I think that is what, what is good in the left position is precisely that. What's bad is its connection and sometimes identification with what you in America would call a liberal view of life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the bad side. The good side is an instinctive, almost chivalrous feeling that you should be on the side of the weak.